As part of NASA's ongoing effort to develop the new Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle, a propulsion team at the Glenn Research Center performed a series of vibration tests on a new variable speed, low mass, low leakage propellant isolation valve. The tests, conducted in the center's structural dynamics lab, helped researchers determine the actuator's performance in a simulated launch environment and identify any potential design flaws in the valve assembly. The test article, developed by VACO Industries, is a two-inch visor valve which is activated by a unique electrical actuator. The actuator can be tailored to adjust the rate at which the valve releases propellant into the fluid system. By doing so, the valve assembly is able to reduce the size of pressure spikes that can damage critical components in a spacecraft fluid system. Since this technology is relatively new, the Glenn team needed to gather as much test data as possible regarding the valve assembly's structural integrity and performance. Using horizontal and vertical vibration tables, the valve assembly was shaken on its X or front to back axis, its Y or side to side axis, and its Z or up and down axis. During the first sequence of tests, the valve was closed and pressurized upstream with gaseous helium. Leak rates and response times were recorded before, during, and after each axis of vibration. In the second sequence of tests, pressurized water was used to simulate propellants and the valve was commanded open during vibration. Initial results of the vibration tests indicated that the actuator performed successfully. Leak rates through the valve were less than expected and were consistent in each sequence of testing. The NASA team identified a problem with one of the valve's limit switches which contributed to some response time delays. NASA worked with VACO Industries to understand and fix the problem on future designs. Next, the team will conduct a series of surge pressure tests to help analyze pressure spikes that occur when a propulsion system valve is opened and closed. Also, the team will investigate how variable speed actuation affects the size of these pressure spikes. Results from these tests will be used to validate the Orion Service Module propulsion system models. If successful, this actuator could help efficiently distribute propellant on future Orion missions.